And here goes the merry-go-round yet again. Hey, Yankees fans, this is Felix from nynews.com. And like always, hola, como estas? Wow, what a horrible Saturday evening. But it's better than that snowstorm where everybody was stuck in traffic for about five to nine hours. That snowstorm that gave me like permanent uh, Zika virus, which I can't cure from for whatever reason, it just doesn't go away. But Yankees fans, this is what doesn't go away as well. Talk about the Yankees trading John Colo Stanton. I've said numerous times on this channel that I believe that the Yankees rented John Colo Stanton for a year. The Dodgers couldn't trade for him last season because if they did, they would have gone over the luxury tax. We see the relationship between the Dodgers and the Yankees. It's a good relationship when it comes to organizations working with each other. The Yankees and the Dodgers uh, promoting each other's players come All-Star game. Another, let's say, off-the-field relationships that the Dodgers and the Yankees have. That's one of the reasons why I believe John Carlos Stanton is going to move to the Dodgers. Another reason being that he's a multi-millionaire and he's living with another guy. He's living with A.J. Ramos. The permanent address that John Carlos Stanton has in the tri-state area, it doesn't belong to him. It belongs to somebody else. You would think if somebody's going to live in New York City for years, his contract states that he signed with the Yankees for eight plus years, et cetera, with the op out in like two years, you would think that John Carlos Stanton would have went shopping for a house or an apartment long ago, but he hasn't. He is living, like I said, with A.J. Ramos. Now, people are going to say, what does that matter? Um, what do you mean, why does that matter? Because the man is making about $25 million per season, is going to raise to 30 or something like that, 35, 30, and he doesn't have his own apartment or house. It doesn't mean because he's single, he is uh, crashing with his buddy from uh, the Marlins, and IG Ramos is signed with the Mets. That doesn't mean that because he's single, he has to crash at his buddy's apartment or house. What makes more sense is that John Carlos Stanton was never permanently going to be a Yankee. And he knew that, the Yankees knew that, the Dodgers knew that, and the Marlins knew that. This is why he hasn't been shopping for an apartment or house. Maybe if he starts doing it, then I'll change my tone. But it's the off season. You know where John Carlos Stanton is right now? In California. You know where he's hanging out? At right now in California you know where he's partying at right now in Hollywood this shows me that this player in particular has intentions of staying in California this shows me that John Carlos Stanton is going to be traded to the Dodgers it's not going to be the Phillies it's not going to be the Cardinals it's not going to be the Giants this deal has been in play for over a year now and for the people that are questioning why I'm bringing this up again because it's the media again again the Boston writers have stated that it's possible that the Yankees are going to move John Carlos Stanton this offseason the title specifically states John Carlos Stanton on trade block Yankees reportedly might try to move slugger posted Saturday November 24 2018 now this is the same organization Nesson that originally reported this a year ago. They said, hey, the Yankees are just renting John Carlos Stanton for a year. The Dodgers couldn't trade for him because of luxury tax issues, and the Yankees are just holding him for a year. And then there's new articles that state the Yankees are trying to trade Stanton so they could free up money to pursue Harper or Machado. This, I believe. I believe that the Yankees are being stingy with money. I believe that if John Carlos Stanton remains a Yankee, that the Yankees are not even going to attempt to try to sign Machado or Harper. That's just the harsh realization of how the Yankees are being run. And if you go to nynews.com, a source contacted me. They emailed me and said, hey, Machado is plan B. Don't expect the Yankees to sign him. They're going to try to trade for an infielder way before they try to sign Machado or even a Harper. So let's say the Yankees do make a trade for an infielder. That doesn't mean that they're not going to try to attempt to trade away Stanton and move and shift their priorities 
to Bryce Harper, who could play DH, who could play first base, who could play the outfield, etc. Who's a left-handed bat that the Yankees desperately need. So that's one scenario I could see the Yankees taking. Trading for an infielder, maybe like a Scooter Jeanette, maybe like a Segura. Plugging one of those players at second base or shortstop. Trading away Stanton to the Dodgers that was uh, meant to be. And going after Harper. So all this talk about oh how Steinbrenner wants to sit down with Manny Machado. It's similar to uh, Reggie Jackson. Uh, he's just going to sign him after that. Uh, I call BS. Okay, I don't see the Yankees signing Machado. I see the Yankees preferring to trade for an infielder. Just like my source said. I mean, do you blame the Yankees? They're saving about maybe $200 million in total doing this. When it comes down to it, do you really blame the Yankees? But the thing that makes me upset with the Yankees front office is that they are sugarcoating and putting mixed signals out there and making the Yankees fans believe that they do have a chance in signing a Machado. And they do, but it's a plan B. Like I said, Harper is the main guy that the Yankees are intrigued with. Harper is the one that if they are going to sign anybody to a large contract, it's going to be him. But first, this John Carlos Stanton rumor needs to be true. They're not going to add Machado or Harper with Stanton on this roster. I'm telling you guys, this is not the old Yankees. This is the new school Yankees that prefer to stay under the luxury tax. And really, it's insane even thinking going into this offseason, 2019, that the Yankees wouldn't prefer to go over the luxury tax and sign a Machado or Harper with Stanton on their roster. And some people might make the calculations and say, even with those two players on the Yankees, they are still under the luxury tax. I don't know. I doubt it because the Yankees have to sign uh, even uh, this Japanese picture that the Yankees are targeting. He's going to cost money. You see, all those signals point to one thing to me, that the Yankees want to save money. They prefer and stay under the luxury tax, that they rather go after this uh, left-handed uh, Japanese pitcher and forget about Corbin. I mean, the signs and signals are there, folks. Some people are mad at me for pointing that out. Some people are saying, I'm so negative. No, I'm realistic. The telltale signs are there. Even a chimpanzee could decipher what the Yankees' plans are. When you try to trade for an all-star caliber shortstop like Segura in the James Paxton deal, it's common sense that the Yankees prefer trading for an infielder rather than signing Machado, which means that the Yankees prefer to stay under the luxury tax. And it doesn't mean that the Yankees, if they trade for an infielder, it doesn't mean that they are worse off. They might be even better trading for an infielder shipping out Stanton and targeting a Harper. Who knows what kind of player the Yankees would get via trade? Nobody knows. But really, it's up to you, Yankees fans. It's up to you to call sports radio shows and talk about how Steinbrenner and the Yankees supposedly promising to go all out in 2019. Where, let's be realistic, folks. All signs point to the Yankees wanting to stay under the luxury tax. But are you guys going to let it happen? Like I said, call into sports radio shows. Call into here and there, everywhere. Make it a point. Make it an issue. Bring up the fact that the Yankees are beating around the bush. And it's possible that the Yankees are not going to sign Machado or Harper. But like I said, they can with a trade of Stanton. But that wasn't originally the case. Like I said, the Yankees want to stay under the luxury tax. You have the power to change and shift that dynamic. Because if you don't, the Yankees are going to do this for the next 5 to 10 years. They're going to stay under the luxury tax for that long. Because it's beneficial for them. They save money. They make money. It's a good business model. You're not helping other greedy owners that don't want to put money back into their teams, like the supposed small market teams with rich owners. So it's a good business model. 
But we're talking about the New York Yankees. They're supposed to spend. They're supposed to go out there and get the best players. I mean, it's really up to you fans out there. Me, as a Yankees fan, I am giving you the ideas and the motivation to do so. Not like these other writers, commentators, etc. They're sugarcoating things. I am stating the hardcore facts to get you angry, to make you motivated, and make the Yankees a winner. So they can see maybe they'll get backlash from making Yankees fans believe that they were all in on Machado and Harper when they weren't. It's still early. You can still call into uh, the Michael K show. You can still call into Mike Francesa. You can still call into all these radio shows and bring it up. Oh, and by the way, you remember the uh, $20 million the Marlins gave to the Yankees? Uh, yeah, put two and two together. Uh, John Carlos Stanton was a rental. John Carlos Stanton is, let's say, attractive to the Dodgers and other teams because he will be worth less than a Machado and a Harper. But like I said, when you pre-planned things, get $20 million up front, etc., and possibly a player coming from the Dodgers for John Carlos Stanton, it looks like a good deal for the Yankees. Even though he's going to be worth less, the Yankees gained some. And they also, like I said, with uh, Harper, keep up their ratings, their marketing campaigns, etc. He is a moneymaker as well. Maybe even more of a moneymaker than Stanton. So, Yankees fans, the winter meetings are going to be insane. I think the Yankees are holding on to Sonny Gray because they want him in the package for an infielder. It's obvious to me at this point that they are trying to do that. The winter meetings are going to be like the Twilight Zone all over again. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you think the Yankees are going to ship out John Colo Stanton? Also, the Boston sports writers, Nesson, the TV network of the Boston Red Sox, why do they keep doing this to the Yankees? Is it because the Yankees are not respected? Like I said, all that reflects on who currently owns the Yankees. So leave your opinions like always in the comment section below. Really, this is what is going to count. If the Yankees could possibly sign a Harper or Machado, do you think they could still with Stanton on their team? You guys already know my opinion. Like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time. Yeah. Tell me what you